welcome to the Cali Raw Nutrition Podcast. My name is Brandine, and I am sitting here with James Pendergast. He is the thought leader and formulator of our formulas at Cali Raw. And we're here today to talk about the formulas, the premium ingredients that we have chose, and why we feel that Cali Raw is the absolute best choice for your dog. James? Hi, Brandine. It, uh, it's always good to be here and talk about one of my greatest passions, and, and that's animal nutrition. Um, and certainly to talk about the formulas we've done for Cali Raw, it's uh, exciting times for us all, uh, and certainly for our customers and or prospective customers. Um, you know, in today's market is more than any time ever a uh, period of time of, of the fresh food uh, industry. Consumers have a lot of choices out there. There's a lot of good products. Most of them are, are some can be called great products. But if you look at the total overall experience, I think that's where the, the customer needs to include in their decisions when they're choosing a better food for their dog. If we look at Cali Raw, we have great front end advice and support. We have the back end uh, in transitioning and, and to get folks onto this. Uh, then really the core would be our formulas. Um, and the quality of the ingredients that we are using um, from the uh, the properly humanely sourced uh, meats to the fresh vegetables uh, to the fact that our meals are complete and balanced um, our meats are USDA inspected and passed for for human consumption uh, but the bigger takeaway from that really for me is you know it matters to us here at Cali Raw how these animals are raised, uh, you know, and treated. And, and ideally, if, if we can have happy, 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 and all of a sudden dead, that's a great life for, for the animals. So we respect the quality because there is a life at the beginning of the stage of our products. And we want to make sure that life is honored and treated with respect. Um, we really, the big key thing for, for Cali Raw that sets us apart, I, I want to say has to be, is we are practicing something called life stage nutrition. And if you look at all the industries and, and, and you consumers at home, if you look at your, your product you're currently feeding, you're going to see a statement that has been formulated uh, to meet the nutritional profile established by AFCO for all life stages. And, and really what that means is, they're producing puppy foods because puppies have a higher demand uh, nutritionally than an adult dog. Therefore, it's automatically going to meet that uh, life stage requirement. And AFCO allows us to, to call those products all life stages. Let me back up and give a little more history on, on definition of what life stage is. So the big influence consumers have on, on their pets um, and certainly with, with the goals of enhancing longevity and in more enjoyment uh, uh, companionship with that animal, there's really three, I'd say, core factors that, that are in play here. There's genetics, which literally we have little uh, or no control over. Uh, I'd say the second pillar would be, you know, the pet's environment. You know, such as how it lives, where it lives, the access or lack of access to preventative care that's going to be received throughout that animal's life. Uh, and certainly the, the, the third, and I would consider the most important, this is something consumers do every single day, would be nutrition. Um, that has a direct influence on the pet's length and quality of life. So for me to define the term life stage nutrition, Life stage nutrition is the practice of feeding animals foods that meet the optimal nutritional needs at different ages or physiological state uh, of that animal. If we want to go back to AFCO, so AFCO is the American Association of Feed Control Officials, uh, and any complete and balanced food uh, has to follow the nutritional profiles or guidelines in order for to be, them to be called complete and balanced. AFCO really only recognizes two life stages, the growth and reproduction or puppy, and then adult maintenance. So while it may be more convenient to offer the same formula regardless of age or activity level, if we really want our pets to thrive uh, throughout their whole life, we believe here at Cali Raw that we need to tailor that nutrition to the specific needs of each life stage of that animal. So we've developed a, a puppy formula and have uh, ingredients uh, included in our formulas that are going to help that puppy's uh, immune system grow properly uh, so the nutrients are getting there, not excess, but in the right amounts. And then we have an adult formula because we know uh, that their nutritional needs change as the age. Um, and to classify the difference, I would say an adult dog is really any dog that is over a year in age. Now, Redding, some dogs mature faster. If we look at our smaller uh, companion animals like chihuahuas and things, you know, they may be considered an adult dog 
it may be 10 or 11 months where some of our giant breed dogs, uh, Irish wolfhounds, um, uh, and those giant breeds, you know, they may take even somewhere 16 to 18 months where they would be considered an adult dog. Let's talk about large breed dogs and puppies. This is a, a common question that we get from some of our customers. Yes, yeah, so if people are familiar with labels in AFCO, they recently came out with a new requirement um, to add as a the adequacy, nutritional adequacy statement that complete and balanced, including the growth of large breed dogs. Now, AFCO defines a large breed dog as a dog that is 70 pounds or more as an adult. Uh, so there's a certain maximum level of calcium uh, that they've established that we cannot exceed in order to make that claim, which we have that claim on our label. Uh, so AFCO requires that it must be less than 4.5 grams per thousand kcal of calcium in order to have that statement be true. Uh, because you don't want all this additional calcium because then you may have uh, osteo bone issues, uh, uh, bone growth, um, and it, it becomes, you know, certainly the large breed dogs. We want to grow them fast. And to help counteract that, in our puppy formula, we would add L-carnitine. Now, L-carnitine is in muscle meats, and, and they're getting it in naturally, but studies have shown um, that because they're growing, they're going to be using a, a lot of fat for energy. So the L-carnitine helps them burn that fat more efficiently, thus reducing the, uh, the deposition of... Uh, body fat, so they increase the meat, lean muscle mass. So it basically it helps them synthesize uh, the, the fat for energy, so they're building more lean muscle mass. Excellent information. Um, let's talk a little bit about complete and balanced. Kelly Raw formulas are complete and balanced, and what makes them complete and balanced? The, the easiest answer, you do not need to add any supplements to our formulas. As they come, they are uh, designed uh, to meet your dog's nutritional needs. Um, so no added supplements required. Um, so we fall above and below if there's an established maximum of a certain nutrient. Um, and we are above the minimums. Uh, so we have these profiles, nutritional profiles that are established by AFCO. Uh, and so we are meeting and exceeding in certain cases uh, those nutrients uh, for that life stage. That means complete and balanced. So, for instance, if you want to give the consumers an idea of what would be non, uh, anything that on a label that says for supplemental feeding or intermittent feeding only, that means it is not complete and balanced. And you would, they would need to be adding something to that food or product to make it more complete and balanced. Um, there are cases, however, where you would not want to feed a, a complete and balanced diet. For instance, if you have a kidney disease patient, one of the key factors is low phosphorus. So kidney disease diets are formulated where they're not meeting the minimum requirement for phosphorus. So that there would make it non-complete and balanced. They would have to carry that tagline for supplemental or intermittent feeding only. Okay, so a little bit about prebiotics and probiotics. Can you tell us how CaliRaw addresses so I am a fan of prebiotics versus probiotics. Not saying that they're bad, but you know, some cases they work and some cases they don't. It's just a, it's a hit or miss. And there's some new science that's out there uh, that you know, providing this highly concentrated dose of one or two single strains, you know, in the billions of CFUs, you're crowding out the good happy family that's there already. Uh, so it can be a hit or miss of, of use. So we find that adding a prebiotic, which is the food that the friendly gut bacteria or the bacteria would feed upon, uh, is providing food for them to grow in harmony amongst the family members that are resident colonies, if you will, that are in the gut or the intestines. Uh, so we use inulin, which is the extract of chicory root, as a prebiotic fiber, if you will. And the fiber is important because when it gets down into the large intestine, uh, the microbes convert that, you know, some into vitamin K. It's used as a source of uh, pyruvate, uh, which is the source of energy in the cells of the colon, and they make short-chain fatty acids. So in comparison of the adult Cali Raw formulas and the puppy formulas, what are some of the main differences as far as the ingredients that we chose and the benefits that they provide? Great question. You know, certainly we all can agree that, you know, puppies do have different nutri nutritional needs 
uh, than an adult dog. And, you know, as their bodies and minds are growing and developing quickly uh, and benefit from specific nutrients. And I'm going to just cover some top level stuff here. And certainly in other class, we can get into, into great details. But, you know, one of the main requirement differences is protein. You know, there is a higher requirement for protein during growth, um, both for tissues and because proteins manufacture antibodies in the developing immune system. As an example, puppies need four, four and a half times more protein than an adult dog on a per kilogram of body weight. That's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Another top level example we could use is, you know, uh, fatty acids. Um, you know, both omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, you know, they help maintain the healthy skin and coat of fresh foods, um, promote strong immune system, and play a role in cell growth. You know, puppies' needs for uh, omega-6 or N6 uh, fatty acids is for immune system development and especially DHA, which is omega-3 fatty acid that they're getting from our enhanced levels of salmon oil in our puppy formulas for visual acuity and cognitive development. There's tons of studies out there, Brandine, correlating um, omega-3 fatty acids in, in humans, certainly, uh, uh, of um, omega-3 consumption and brain development. So we're gonna have smarter puppies. Um, we all want smarter yeah. puppies, right? <laughs> um, you know, antioxidants, you know, uh, very important. Um, we, we want the cell turnover to grow, so we're adding additional antioxidants. We added taurine uh, in there to, to help. Um, you know, selenium is considered an antioxidant. Vitamin E, uh, taurine, as I just mentioned, you know, they help the, the immune response uh, to all the vaccinations compared to puppies fed just a commercial diet. Uh, was, uh, I read in a recent study. Um, in our puppy formula, since we are... Um, stating that our puppy food can be fed to dogs, uh, large breed dogs, and that is classified as a, a, a dog that's going to be 70 pounds or more as an adult. Uh, we added L-carnitine. Uh, L-carnitine is used in growing animals uh, because they burn a lot of fat for energy. This helps them burn that fat more efficiently so they're gaining more muscle mass than getting fat. We don't want pop belly little puppies running around. Even though it may be cute, mm -hmm. it's just not healthy. Yep. Um, so just some ingredients like that. So we're, we, we designed a puppy formula specific to enhance the, the growth of our puppies. It, it's something you're not going to get from an all-purpose food. And this is specific design nutrition for puppies. Just to give you a couple of examples. And our puppy formulas, we have two formulas. We have a chicken and beef blend, and we also have a turkey and lamb blend. Can you tell us a little bit about those blends, uh, why you chose to combine those proteins, and what makes them exceptional? Yeah, I've always been a fan of, of mixed species meats. Uh, um, one is from a formulator aspect, you know, I can take high cost or high fat muscle meats and combine that with leaner meats and really get a good fat balance and a better overall formula. So I've never shied away from mixed species or mixed meat meals. Um, in the case of puppies specifically, I, I wanted that combinations um, because one, they, they haven't had a poor lifetime of nutrition. They probably haven't had any time to develop any type of intolerance or allergy got, for sake uh, to these meat sources. So we're able to provide a, a much more robust, palatable formula for these puppies by having the two separate meat sources, we're giving our customers options um, that, that they can feed. Um, so it's a, a great combination between the two. Um, so that, you know, ideally they would you know, rotate between both formulas, but one would be just as good too, because it is that mixed species. It, it really, it's a, it, it provides, enables us to, to create a better formula. And kind of revisiting some of our ingredients, um, we we opt for leaner meats with Cali Raw, uh, particularly our lamb and our beef. That's an eighty-five fifteen. Can you tell us a little bit about why you prefer to use an eighty-five fifteen for both beef and lamb, and why we choose leaner meats in general? I like leaner meats in general, and I'm trying to define leaner meats. So certainly, you know, I don't want 
meats that are, as I'm sure our customers will see in the grocery store, they have options on, you know, we'll use ground, uh, ground round or hamburger as the easiest example. You'll see it says 93 lean or 85 lean. That has to do with the, the fat content, really. Uh, it gets really hard to formulate a balanced diet when you use really, really fat meats. And I'm talking 70 or 30% fats or more. Uh, because you're getting all these calories without getting uh, all the additional vitamins or minerals that go along with the, the muscle meat or the protein, if you will. Um, and, uh, you know, lean meats, you know, 93 or higher uh, are fine, but it, it just, I'd have to add fat. And I don't want to add just, you know, suet or kidney fat or something. Mm -hmm. So we found those, uh, again, in, in when we purposely designed our meals, looking at what is a, a, a nice... Uh, optimum uh, meat for for every dog that's out there. Okay, so in conclusion, in summary, um, I want to talk a little bit about some of the service benefits of Cali Raw. In addition to our formulas and the nutrition that we provide, we also provide a subscription service, and our subscription service is actually modifiable, meaning that you can modify, change, pause, or cancel your subscription at any time. It's designed for your convenience. Uh, so that you don't have to worry about picking up dog food and you don't have to worry about running out. Another one of our services is home delivery. Like James had mentioned earlier, we ship direct to your door in 48 states. We do use an eco-friendly insulation and liner. Uh, we also, also offer local delivery and pickup in Orange County, California, with plans to expand our delivery zone uh, into Los Angeles and San Diego later this year. Uh, and another unique benefit of Cali Raw is that we offer consultations and our team is highly trained and available to guide you in the transition to raw feeding, to answer your questions, uh, to help you ensure that you are feeding your puppy or your dog the proper amounts and giving them everything that they need in order to thrive and live a long, healthy life. Thank you very much, James, for sharing all of that information today. I know it was very helpful to the My team pleasure. and also to our customers and our audience out there. Uh, we will be recording more podcasts and sharing more information and education. Um, if you have interest in Cali Raw, you want to read more about our specific ingredients and the benefits, you can visit www.caliraw.com. Check out the guides tab. You'll find some very easy guides to get you started. You can check out the formulas tab, read about all of our ingredients. And if you want to know a little bit more about myself and James, you can find us on the About Us page. Thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate everybody who has uh, tuned in to hear and learn more about raw feeding today. Thank you very much. Thank you.